I always get the first wave. Pretty much, I it brought me to tears, like the wave was so good. That's the biggest drop I've ever taken in my life. And so right there, I told myself I needed to just relax and stay calm, that I'm stronger than this. You've just gone to Tabarua. It's the best wave you've got of your life. You're probably thinking, how can it get any better? But then all of a sudden, this monster, monstrosity of a swell pops up to go to Chopu and it's like well I know I'm not going to paddle now I've got to pack tow boards and have a jet ski and organize all this what was the mindset and like how, how did you get end up getting the chopes like that well it was funny because I made Bruce go to Tabarua and then he got that wave we got those waves it was just, but then he had to be in Tahiti because they were doing a memorial for Andy at the contest and so then code and so he's all oh, you gotta come you gotta come and i'm like oh whatever i guess i'll come but i'm all you know what i'm gonna bring i brought a dela we stayed in papiette at the beach come i'm all, i'm just gonna go on a vacation bring my chick just relax enjoy tahiti because i'm always kind of stressed going there and i've caught you know whatever and i'm on just not gonna put too much into it didn't bring my toe weight nothing just kind of like oh and then it was like that day, all of a sudden, he was doing something else. But then it was like driving out to the end of the road from, you know, we got out there like 8.30 or 9 because we left. But I was in a different car. Anyways, super unprepared, super relaxed because of catching that wave and just told myself, if I even catch any waves, it's easy, cool. But that morning, I could see the waves coming over the road and stuff. And it was like I'd never seen the swell there. And so um then when i get down there bruce was nowhere to be found no jet ski no nothing because he had all that lined up but i got it i just hitchhiked out with uh who gave me a ride out kamalay gave me a ride out and then i just had to sit and i swam in the channel for a little bit and then i got on the one guy's boat and then uh biff actually out of all people he's all oh, what you want to get a ride and i'm all sure let's go you know and i'd been and i was really scared because i'd watched a bunch of waves i sat there for an hour already yeah and so the first I caught Biff. He was on Hank's ski. That was the first ski down there, but it didn't go fast enough to catch a wave. So you had to get up and do a couple circles. And then I let go <laughs> 100 yards too deep. And so I just, I pulled into a closeout and got pounded. But then Makua's like, what was that? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't know. I was just trying to get away. So Makua borrowed Strider's ski. And then uh, that was the first wave. He whipped me into that thing. Boom, caught it, but didn't even know what it looked like or anything. But he's like, oh, you want to get another one? I was all, hell no, I'm going to the beach. I'm done with that. But then everybody started coming up to me, hugging me and saying, oh, this was insane, the greatest ride, blah, blah, blah. And so in my head, I was like, I was like, that's weird. Why are these people acting acting this way? And so yeah. I mean, I left. Because I'm like, this is weird. Like people that I look up to and put on a whole nother level, they're like tearing, looking at me. Oh. You're a lie, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, this is so, because I couldn't see it. I was on it, right? But I could, it only yeah. looked like a half my view. I couldn't see what was around me. And I thought I just caught a wave like everybody else. So the next day I got a text message with a picture of it. And I just, right there, I just could not believe that that was me riding that wave, that I ate, ate it on it, that I was alive. I just couldn't believe any of it. And it was just super weird. I didn't go back out to the end of the road. I only caught two waves on the whole trip. What, um, so what was that? The photo was it that, so what happened? Cause like the, the, a lot of the photos that they like to show is especially I think Billman shot where you're sort of coming over the phone ball, like, or the phone ball is catching you as you're like wheeling, like wheeling on the back, right? I was in the phone ball, but I didn't bring my toe weight cause I was sick of traveling with this big 12 pound dive weight. So I'm all, you know what? Yeah. I've served Matt on my toe board without a weight. I'm just going to go to Chopo. It's all smooth. But anyways, there was so much suction. It was sucking me back like this. And so what I was trying to do was like hop out to like get a new line to set myself back down. But as I was in the air, all I could think about was that stupid weight that I left at home because I was too lazy to travel with it. And uh, do you think was, that you would have, do you think you would have, do you think that weight was makeable with that weight? Do you think with the weight well, you're ahead you of the foam ball enough that you're not bunny hopping? Well, you think if your board's six pounds or 18 pounds, you got a better chance with an 18 pounds or six pound board. Yeah, guaranteed. <laughs> yeah. I'll never know that I'll tell you that. It's a, I've went over it frontwards, backwards. It's all good. It wasn't meant to be. What 
what was um take us through what the wipeout was like because I mean that just falling yeah. in that place. The wipeout was like getting ripped limb from limb as bad as it could be for 20 seconds straight. And then somehow I came up and set it down. And I just feel like I fell in front of the where the real lip, you know, where it bounces. So I fell with a foam ball like that. So I was up on this part. Where if I would have been before, it would have been bam, and it would put me straight to the reef. But I got, I got far enough down the line where I caught the push of the foam ball. But then I was in that, and then it kind of just shot me up. But for 12 to 15, when I came up, all I could do was just, I couldn't believe my head was on my, and I came up and grabbed my head, and my spine and neck were just really hot and tingly, like like burning sensation from the base of my spine all the way to the top of my head. But I was just like, what? My head was on. I was like, oh. And I was like, oh, my arms. And I was like, I was like yes. Done. Go home. Oh, man. I, just, I mean, no wonder, man. There's so, the volume, the volume and pressure and veracity of that, that the amount of water in that wave on that shallow of a reef. I, it's, it, it's a miracle, right? Like you see like that day and you just go, how did someone not like... Would I do it say, again? No. <laughs> <laughs> I 